Oh. Somebody that don't know. You know what time it is, Geek Gang. It's time to get sauced up with another Mob Psycho reaction. If you guys are returning back from last week, welcome back. But if you're here for the first time, welcome. I do watch Mob Psycho every week. So if you guys want to join me on my journey with this awesome anime, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Now, for those that want to catch this a little bit early and uncut, you might want to check out the Patreon, man. Link in the description box below. And also, if you guys have not checked out this video, there's something else coming later this week on the channel that is massive for you guys and a way that you can win some bread here on the channel. You might want to check this video out because it includes that information and what's going on with the name of this channel. Check the video. But it's time to go 100% on this like button. Let's get this thing popping. Oh, nah, bro, you feel it? Yeah, he's like, nah, I gotta be out of here. The fact that he running for his brother, bro, I can't even imagine. Oh, so he thinks it's from the rejection. He didn't even know he didn't make it. Man. Oh, he's seeing the he's seeing the damage already. Right, put two and two together, bro. Put two and two together, bro. Yeah, something happened. Yeah, look, he's putting it together. Let's go, bro. At least he doesn't at least he isn't thinking that it was just from a heartbreak, right? Like something actually happened to him. So I'm glad that he didn't just run by it and be like, oh, this looks interesting. Let's just continue. You know what I'm saying? Like, I like the fact that uh something's going on. Like he's aware that something's off. You know what I'm saying? Mob three trauma. Bro. Shop gone, cuz. Hell nah. Oh shit. Here it comes. Here he comes. Boss. Yeah. In honest living now. Isn't it crazy, bro, that it seems like the villains have become the heroes and the hero has become the villain? Like. It would be so interesting if the show ends with Mob as the big bad. You know what I'm saying? Like, when he, he is not a bad person, but his subconscious just thinks he can't control his power anymore. I've come to repay my debt. Oh! Oh! Sheesh! Oh, he's on him! Oh, nah, he's just standing there. <laughs> Getting hit with a barrage of a, of 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 a flurry, if you will, of an attack, and then just stand there like, <laughs> oh no! You about the nut bust? Woo! Oh! Nah, no, son. No way. Nah. <laughs> no nah way, bro. Why, bro? Oh my God. Bro, you got ramen on your head. Oh. That in itself is a bad thing. Damn. Oh. Oh. Not the gravity. It'd be this much of a difference. Oh, nah. Ooh. Ooh. That's cold. Oh no. Jesus Christ. I needed to borrow some of his powers to make up for the massive gap. He just like, oh, I needed to go Super Saiyan real quick. I needed to sample that energy real quick. Wow. That's an interesting aura though. Let's just call it, that's interesting as hell. I'm not sure if I like the fact that it feels literally like like a flat plane it doesn't feel like it's enveloping him it just feels like somebody took a grid of like circuitry and then set an opacity behind him with 
a feather and just tracked it with him is what it feels like. So I'm not sure if I like the execution of it, but it looks pretty cool. Oh, okay. Mm. Right, now he's everything he protects, he, he bottles everything up, right? Because he doesn't want anything to accidentally go, right? Which is, I can't even imagine, bro. Oh, it's almost like, it's almost like the, right, ooh, it's almost like a, a, like a Piccolo situation, like how him and Kami were one person and then like the evil out of Pic, the evil of him uh, escaped, you know what I'm saying, like, and that became Piccolo, like the, the concept of that uh, is similar in nature with him suppressing his anger and frustration and emotions and his power it almost became a completely different entity so it's almost like his subconscious is a whole other power that he had like you know what i'm saying like they're two different people it's so crazy okay Oof. nice oh nope he's like bro what you doing oh that was called He's still holding on to them flowers, though. Oh, not the father, southern, father, southern, father, son, charge bomb. Oh, this looks beautiful. Wow. Nothing. So that's his play. He just sucked up everything we had. Oh, wow. Oh, uh oh. What was that? Oh, damn. Daddy took the direct hit. We can't even buy some time. Oh. 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 It's like he's yelling at him. He's yelling him. He's telling him to stop. It looks like he's within him trying to tell him to stop it. Like to, you know, like, oh. Internal struggle. He's struggling, yep. Yeah? You're right. Catch him off guard. Oh, nah, not the father move. Oh, right. Ooh, ooh, boy, I don't think y'all get that, bro. Like, I know in anime terms, it's like, oh, the bad guy comes back and does something good, but like, he's a father. You know what I'm saying? He's like, look, and and the fact that he's atoning, he's like, look, like, I'm prepared for this, bro. You know, like, I. And he even his son was like, "Yeah, I'm I'm here to see help my dad do something right for this world." And like he's the pops is like, "No, we about to we about to make this square, right?" That's crazy, bro. But the fact that he's he like he told his son like, "Yo, you got to get out of here, man. It's time. It's time to skadoodle. Your 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 part in this is over." Yeah, look at that. He knows. He's like, "It's it's dad mode now." Oof. Ah, so he couldn't go through with it. You lend me your shoulder? Let's flee. Oh, so his flashback was him leaving his family the first time. And he was like, I don't know if I could do that again. Looking at his son again. And then him in this point, he's like, he acknowledged, like, I, I'm sorry, I can't be as strong as you were for me. It's the acknowledgement for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I like the fact, I, I would have liked the fact of him atoning that way, but him looking at it from a, a father perspective and then also saying, you know what? I can't, I can't be that. I'm not the, I'm not the hero. I'm not, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's something about that, that decision in the storytelling that I really rock with. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing is you see other other people seeing how strong he truly is and that he's been walking through this world trying to just fit in normally. Right? Now, the crazy part is like, obviously, his own trauma, though, was I don't want to hurt anybody with this power. So I'm going to keep my emotions intact. I'm going to stay level-headed and, and try to go through life without hurting anybody. 
And everybody just saw, oh, yeah, Mob has some psychic powers, blah, blah, and he would sauce every once in a while. But them seeing him, you know, unlocked fully, it's almost letting people know, like, damn, like, you you could do this anytime you wanted. You could have destroyed everything anytime you wanted to, yet you decided not to. Yet you decided to just be a kid and try to grow up and, and, and like like a girl and, you know, figure out your place in the world. It's one of those things of like the story trope of absolute power corrupts absolutely and Mob understood that. You know, like that, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's powerful, bro. It's powerful. You've gone way too far. Oh, nah, bro. You're not gonna, he's not gonna have to kill his own brother though, right? That'd be, that'd be a lot. So all of all of his friends are gonna end up showing up. <laughs> nah, come on, bro. Oh no. Hmm. Oof. Oh. Nah. Oh. Bro, I was like, nah, bro. He almost died, bro. That was death. That was certain death, bro. Oof. It is you. It's that subconscious, bro. It's what's in you. Oh. Mm. Is that, is that his count up? Is that what's going on? Is it not mobs? Is that his? No. Oh, what you mean? Oh! Oh, so he's having his sauce up. Hey! Oh. He literally just brought, what? That was crazy. Oh man. Yo. Yo. No, bro. He's in the air. A tornado. <laughs> Not top secret science project. Man, she going home. She ain't sitting in no park. If you see a tornado, ain't nobody sitting like, oh, well, I just wait this out. Exactly. Mm. Oh. Somebody that don't know, um, I, I was a, a professional dancer for some time. And uh, today, Twitch committed suicide, right? And for those of the, that do know, some of you guys know my best friend is Toshi. Obviously, we're in a group of kind of best friends uh, called A-Team. 
But me and Toshi first started dancing together in 2007. We took a workshop and one of the the one of the, the choreographers of this workshop saw Toshi for the first time and was like, you're like Twitch. Like you're you guys are like twins, right? And this is like this is 2007, 2008. And any time that, that anybody would look at Twitch or Toshi and they'd be like, oh, y'all like twins. Y'all like twins, right? And seeing the the outward person online, seeing the happy and understanding that and all of that as a, as a performer put stuff on Instagram and all this other shit. People see the smiles and blah, blah. And nobody knew that that was, that was going to happen. Right. And I say that because when I found out this morning, it was like 2 AM. Uh, all I thought of was Tosh, you know, like we talk all the time, but I was just like, damn, like is, is Twitch, was he, not as fortunate to have the people around him, you know? This shit right here is it just feels like that, right? Like it's like you're the you're the version of me that I created to not be seen as whatever the world is gonna see me as, right? You're the you're the facade, you're the you know? This shit is powerful, bro. I'm sorry, I just feel like it's the time. Man, pull out the umbrella. Yes, Ooh. I had to move you through sure will. Mm. Ooh, see? Are you trying to invalidate me once again? Oh, look at that. Oh. I will be me. Oh. Oh, bro. I'm sorry I had that moment, bro. It's just, it, it, it's too real, bro. It's too real. You know, it sucks. I, you know, especially like in men in general, just we do that more than women do, right? And I think a lot of times it's, because you don't know who to talk to, you don't want to seem, you don't want to appear weak. You don't want to feel embarrassed if you're going through something. Especially like since a lot of our focus in life is to produce a result, right? Rarely people care about how men feel. It's more like what what result have you produced? What have you made? What have you created? It's not really about your our feelings, right? So, but in this mob had went through the most traumatic situation right and he was like I don't want to hurt anybody anymore because of my power so I'm going to create this new facade of me and box this away in my subconscious I'm going to get rid of it but you never really get rid of it right you you control it right I used to be extremely emotional a lot of people are like oh damn like you're just not an emotional guy I'm not emotional in the sense of acting out of emotion when faced with a challenge or an issue. Um, even when watching certain things, I don't really get emotional like that as much. But I used to be really emotional, right? And it, it was not serving me well. So I started to learn how to control my emotions and, and let them take a, a, a step back from certain things, right? Uh, because it helped me garner a better perspective of what was actually going on and not pointing fingers at everything or blaming everybody else for things that I had full control over or how I just viewed 
and how I needed to execute during a difficult time, you know? It's like, it's not about, it. one of the best quotes I'd ever heard from my first mentor was, it's not what you do, it's not what happens that determines your future, it's what you do about what happens. And that's, that's why I kind of discarded that, right? But it's still there, right? It's still there, I just keep it confined. I control it and say, cool, let's take a deep breath, let's keep it pushing, right? So I can understand Mob's perspective of, I have this crazy power. If I let it loose, I hurt people. I need to, I need to bottle this up. I need to figure this out and get it under control. But it's still there, right? It's still there. You see people that get drunk and people are like, oh, he, oh, he was drunk and he started just, he started acting crazy, blah, blah. It's like a lot of times you ever heard the, the saying, drunk man never tells no tales. You know, like a lot of times people that are, are drunk, that's them just unleashed. There's no, you know what I'm saying? You don't have full control over that the way you do when you're fully uh, aware of what's going on and you're, you can contextualize the world. But when you got that liquid courage, it's it's different. Look, I, I feel like this is how I'm interpreting in it, uh, this episode. I, I could be reaching, right? Maybe it's just because it's of, of today and me watching it today, I'm, I'm seeing this message in the show. Uh, but it's the, the fact of Mob, like even from the beginning, like just the whole family dynamic that he has and the coming of age story for him. It's such a good show. It's such a good show. And I really wish at times it had the popularity of a bleach or a my hero or um and and again like it's just like regular genres right uh right now the the popularity is superhero films but at one time it was it was uh romance at one time it was rom-com at one time it was like they're just eras you know what i'm saying so right now shonen is is what it is right but there'll be times where certain other animes really change the narrative right like the big renaissance a couple years ago we got to keep it a stack was isekais because of sword art online that started the big isekai movement was sword art right so but i digress phenomenal show like it's it's so good it's so good it's it's well written heartfelt but wow i would love to know you guys thoughts man again i apologize for the the semi breakdown but it's this this is real it feels real you know like especially today i'll catch you guys